file photo the sign of Axonobel is pictured at its headquarters in Amsterdam February 6, 2014, Tucson Clue United Photos Amsterdam writers Axonobel Axo, as and its biggest shareholder Elliot Advisors ended a long-running dispute on Wednesday as the U.S. activist investor agreed to halt legal action against the Dutch paint company and to support its board nominations. The move marks a major shift in Axo Nobel's relations with the hedge fund, which last week lost its second legal attempt to convene a shareholders' meeting to vote on the removal of Chairman Anthony Bergmans. Elliott and other large investors had been highly critical of Axo's decision, on Bergmans' watch to reject a 26 billion euro $30.44 billion takeover proposal from U.S. rival PPG Industries PPG N. For months, Elliott, which owns 9.5% of Axo, waged a public campaign urging Axo, the maker of Dulux paint, to enter talks with PPG and criticizing Axo's plans to go it alone. Axo shares rose 1.1% to €77.41 on Thursday, still well below PPG's proposed €95 Euro per share offer. Under a standstill agreement announced on Wednesday, Axo Noble and Elliott agreed to suspend all ongoing litigation for at least three months. Elliott agreed to support the nomination of new CEO Thierry Van Lanker and two supervisory board members, Axu said in a statement. Axo promised to give Elliott and other major shareholders a say in naming a third supervisory board member. Under the agreement, the hedge fund will also support Axo's decision to sell its speciality chemicals division, which represents about a third of sales and profits. Elliott had always said it supported such a sale. Gordon Singer, CEO of Elliott Advisors UK Limited, welcomed the agreement, saying it marked an important next step in enabling the company to deliver compelling value to all its stakeholders. PPG made three takeover proposals for AXO in March and April, the last worth €95 Euros per share, nearly a 50% premium to AXO's share price in February. But the U.S. firm chose to walk away in June for a six-month cooling-off period, rather than launch a formal bid which would have been seen as hostile, given staunch opposition from AXO's boards and Dutch politicians. AXO instead set new, more ambitious financial targets in April and said it would sell afloat the chemicals division. Former CEO Tan Buchner resigned in July for health reasons and Van Lanker's approval as his replacement is scheduled for a shareholders' meeting on September 8. The new supervisory board members nominated on Wednesday are Sue Clark and Patrick Thomas. Shareholders will vote on their appointment at next year's general meeting, when Bergmans is set to retire. AXO has not yet indicated a replacement for Bergmans. $1.0.8518 euros reporting by Toby Sterling editing by Adrian Croft.